Welcome to my video. This is my actually first one, official first one anyway. Um, I do apologise in advance though, for the quality of the stream isn't the best. And of course my mic has a really annoying sound to it. But again, I'm using basic stuff here. So give me a chance. That's all I can say. But let's jump in and play some Wall of Tanks. <laughs> We're going to start off with a good medium tank, the Object 430U. This tank is a little bit interesting because this tank never actually made production. Um, it was The idea of it was it was meant to be for a nuclear future, that was the idea of it. And there was actually two variants of the Object 430 series that was actually um, put on to pro, uh, being proposed. And basically one had a diesel engine and the other had a petrol engine. Now with the petrol engine, I want to focus on that a little bit. Because the engine was smaller and could be turned um, horizontally as rather than vertically and within the cabin, the ammo racks were actually taken away from the turret and put into the hull, making more space for the crew inside um, the turret ring. And I thought that was really, really smart. Um, but the problem with that is, though, I mean, I, I call it smart, but ultimately one armour penetrating hit or even a serious uh, engine malfunction and you've got ammo right behind the engine probably separated maybe by a very thin piece of armour and kaboom goes your tank so <laughs> how smart I don't know but ultimately it was an interesting design um, but it just never saw production ultimately there were better tanks that were being produced or ultimately going to be produced and the object 430 just never seen like a day um, with that being said let's focus a little bit more I suppose on the wall of tank side of things it's a really good solid medium, it has really impressive armour. The D, uh, the damage per minute is also pretty decent as well. The gun depression in this tank is seriously lacking, but that is the same with every single Russian tank. But that being said, you're not playing the tank for the depression. It is a good solid medium tank, you will not be disappointed with this tank if you choose to play it, or if you already have it, you'll understand exactly what I mean, it's just a great tank. Let's get in, let's jump into this game, and let's um, showcase this tank. The beginning of every game, I always watch where everyone else is going, because you just don't want to stack the same place with too many people. I mean, the idea is, yes, you want to play as a team, but the reality is, no one wants to play as a team. No one wants to play as a team. It's only about you have to think about yourself. So as you see, I've literally just went with the Charge Future 4 and the TVP. So I've thought, right, okay, this needs more, uh, this side needs a bit more of attention. So I might as well join them. But um, the more I look at the map, I think to myself, right, okay, it's going to tease us coming here. Um, I've made the right choice. We can hopefully try and get through this bit. But then these two just stop. They don't try and go down any further and I kind of understand why. But then I thought, right, well, do you know what? I need to stop because there's no point in me pushing forward. Um, and then basically getting mass handed to me. Um, well, they sit at the back. So I thought, right, nah, I'm not moving. Not moving. But then I'm also looking at the map here again. And I keep thinking to myself, right, you know what? Look at that AMX and look at that IS-7 all by themselves. But the mass... Massive people are literally just clunked right in the middle. So I was like, right, okay, no, I'm moving, I'm not sitting here. They need my help more. See, this is the thing about all the tanks, I suppose, really. I mean, it's very easy to get tunnel vision where you think, right, okay, I am going to one spot, I'm going to stay here, and I'm not going to move. That's all well and good um, for you. But then that's it. The whole point is to win as a team. If you're not going to be able to win as a team, uh, what's the point? I mean, the whole point is if e even if you just, even if you just get only a hundred spotting damage, yeah, it sucks. No one wants that. It means you've played put. By the end of the day, you've still provided a form of support to get that 100 spotting damage. <laughs> um, so yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, you got to, uh, a lot of people think, right, no, I need the high damage, I need the high block, I need the high assistance damage. Not always, not always. Even if you were to just delay your enemy, even if you just did the delay in action and you never actually got any damage, any spawn or any blocking, you, all you did was literally 
uh, delay an enemy long enough, then you've done your job. You are helping. You're still doing it. It's not always about. Um, I do my little salute here. I like that. Um, yeah, I always, uh, I always um, think about that as well when it comes to a lot of people and they always say, oh, you need to do this and you need to do that. That was a good shot there on the, uh, the CS, sorry. Um, he was a bit silly going there. But then I decide that this side isn't really the best spot for me to be sitting and I instantly look at that pattern. Now, I hope this quality is actually going to be okay. I was a little bit shocked when that other tank got uh, <laughs> spotted, but... Um, I managed to get a regain composure a little bit and again showcasing the amazing armour of this tank. Look at that block, block, straight off the bat and f over th uh, 400 damage there. Another block, even with gold tea. Again, it's just proven how good the armour on this tank is and I'm still getting uh, roughly about 400 plus odd damage and that is really, really good. Um, I really try my hardest to try and stay as calm as I can. There you go, first kill. That was pretty decent. I'm quite happy with how, um, how I've played that so far. Um, it's the pattern that's really bugging me though. I mean, you even see it, I actually get a little bit flustered at one point because I noticed turrets are a massive weak point. Yep, there you go, <laughs> flustered, got annoyed. I noticed turrets, the, the big weak point, that big cupola, and I'm trying my hardest to aim for it. I know you can also aim for the side of the turret as a just little indicator shown there, but I was more focused on that uh, top of his turret. Um, so yeah, just a little bit frustrating for me there, but I think I do, yeah, I do get him here, yeah. But again, just look at that damage. Not there that long, I've already got um, twi over 2100 damage and uh, about what, how, how much is that? I can't see because the quality is awful, but I really hope everybody else can see this. But I'm sure that's um, a pretty, it's over like over 1500 um, block, um, I'm sure. Um, so, charging the pattern, yeah, I don't care about the UDES, I've literally charged the pattern. Um, I was actually expecting the UDES, I believe it's a UDES. Um, to uh, to charge me there, but he didn't. Double so kill. let me focus on that pattern. And now I'm going to charge the Udes. And I missed. <laughs> as soon as I went up the hill, boom! That was it. Aim gone. Thanks. See, look, that's that's it. And let's show. Look, that nice little thank you. And all I did is because I read the map and I thought they need my help. So I went and done that. Look at that, I got a thank you for it. That's pretty much the end of the game, but there's no way in if I was getting that crank wagon. But pretty much, it just shows you that that was actually a pretty good game. I really enjoyed that game. Um, it was a great way to show off this, um, how good this tank is. And I hope everyone else enjoyed that too. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna end the stream um, with this. Uh, this is gonna be my very first one. I hope everyone has actually enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it and I thought this, stream, uh, this game was amazing as well um, for my very first one. Uh, hopefully I can try and get some more. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you actually stayed long enough to watch this entire stream and actually enjoyed my little history there with the Object 430. I mean I actually was um, quite um, interested in finding that out myself. So hopefully you would like to see more and I will happily do more. My next one is actually going to be the Tiger 131 and I actually have went to the Bobington Tank Museum. I actually went to Tiger Day and I also went to Tank Fest. Um, so I'll talk more about that when I um, do the Tiger 131 video. So hopefully you can look out for that because I'm definitely going to be looking out for, um, looking forward to that one should I say. But anyway, thank you so much. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thank, thank you for anyone who's reached it this far. Um, I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm feeling brave. I'm feeling brave. There's a leopard one here, and I believe that's a T62A. So I'm going to go down here. Right, go, 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 go. Gonna, we're going to outflank them. We're going to shoot them in the ass. That's what we're going to do. Hopefully, the leopard one, the T62, don't die. Hopefully, they distract them. There we go. Boom. No, don't turn around to me. Don't turn around. Oh crap. <laughs> Leopard one's left me. I need to run. Now I'm panicking. <laughs> so, uh, I'm the driver of the train. 
Oh no! Abbiamo un cingolo danneggiato! Leave me alone! Preso. I didn't do anything! Hanno ferito il cannoniere, sarà tu! Leave me alone! <laughs> Oh, 